Hello Tots, it's so lovely to see you. Welcome to Hope Tots at Home on a Sunday. <laughs> William says he's so excited about the next part in our Christmas story. So I'm going to put William down in his story spot so he can watch and listen to the story. Can you find somewhere comfy to sit down so that you can watch and listen as well? Okay, our story box. What do you say when you see this? Shout it out so loud so maybe I can hear you from your homes. That's right, what's in the box? Okay, let's have a look. We have got a baby. We've got a baby in our box today. We have got a big poo, ooh. We have got some straw and we have got lots of animals. Mm. Now I think the story is about a special baby being born, but I wonder where he was born. Mm. We will need to delve into our story bag to find out, but before we do that, let's do what we did last week, see if you can remember. So we want to say God with us. Can you do that? God with us. Brilliant. We'll try and remember and practice it at the end as well. Okay, in our story bag, what is the first thing we always get out of our story bag every week? Can you shout it out so all the grown-ups at home can say, shh, shout it out really loud? Yes, it's the Bible. The Bible is God's special book of his love for us and his story of his rescue plan. And today's story is about the beginning of God's rescue plan. So it is very exciting. Okay, I have some different people in my bag today and I am going to try and find them now. I need to have a bit of a rummage about. Oh, can I find them? Yes, okay. So here is our first part. This is Mary and last week we heard that the angel spoke to Mary and said she was going to have a baby. So Mary knew she was going to have a very special baby, God's son, and that God was going to be with us. Okay, who else do I have here? Let me see. This is Joseph. Now Joseph had promised to marry um, Mary and Mary still had her baby in her tummy but they had to go on a very long journey to Bethlehem. The journey would be about 80 miles so very far. So I wonder how they went on that journey. I wonder if you can think of some ideas of what transport it would be good to use to go on a journey. I wonder if they went in a car. No, they wouldn't have gone in a car because they weren't invented then. What about a plane? No, they wouldn't have been invented then. What about a train? No, they wouldn't have been invented then. I wonder what they went on. I wonder if I got their mode of transport in my bag. Oh dear, where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. Or well, maybe it's in here. Yes, here it is, here it is. They went on a donkey. And you know what? It would have been so uncomfortable and it would have taken them about a week to get there. So when they arrived in Bethlehem, they needed to have somewhere to stay because Mary was about to have her baby. I have got here three, oh, I've got two, we'll find the other one. I've got some innkeepers. So they were like hotel owners. They had places for you to stay. So they knocked on the first door. Can you help me knock, 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 knock? And said, hello, have you got somewhere for us to stay? My wife is about to have a baby. And they said, no, nope, nowhere to stay. So they knocked on the next door and said, hello, have you got somewhere for us to stay? And they said, no. Let me see if I can find my other innkeeper. I've got something peeking out here that you know will come very soon. I don't have my other innkeeper, but never mind. So they knocked again and the next innkeeper said, no, we don't have anywhere to stay, but I have a stable. You can come and stay in my stable. So Mary and Joseph with the baby Jesus in Mary's tummy 
went into the stable. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to, in a stable. There are animals in the stable and there is lots of poo on the floor and lots of mud and lots of straw. It isn't a very nice place to have a baby. There aren't any toilets. There aren't any chairs or seats or tables. It's just not a very nice place. But God didn't mind he thought that was a fine place for Jesus to be born. And you know what? It was also very smelly. It was a very smelly place, but God didn't mind for that to be a place for Jesus to be born. So Jesus was born in that stable and Mary took her, took the baby and wrapped him up in some cloths. There was lots of straw everywhere and she lay baby Jesus in a manger. Do you know what a manger is? A manger is a feeding trough, is the place that the animals in the stable come and eat. But God didn't mind. God wanted to come and be with us. He wasn't born in a hospital or a palace or somewhere really fancy. He was born in a stable and was laid in a manger so that God could be with us. Excellent listening. Well done. That was really good. Now, I hope you've done the activity at the beginning and now it's our God is here time. But just a little reminder, on Sunday, the 13th of December, is our Hope Tots Christmas party on Zoom. So if you would like to come, get in touch with us for the link and so also that we can send you a party pack in advance. We look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Hi Tots. Did you know that God is here? He's here with me and he's there with you. And in today's story, we read that Jesus was born in a stable. Why do you think God chose to be born in a stinky stable? Well, God wants us to know that nowhere is too yucky or too stinky for him to come. That's such good news. God will go anywhere to be with us. Thank you, God, that nowhere and no one is too yucky or stinky for you. Amen. Bye, Tots.